Today we're going to take this pile of scrap and turn it into a nice looking decorative star. All you got to do, make one of these. To start, you're going to make this template that'll be each point of our star. It should have this diamond shape to it with a little extra material for a tab. If you don't want to make your own template, you can find the link to the one I use in my classes in the description below. Start by drawing a line the length you want each point of your star to be. For this example, I chose 8 inches. Next, divide the length of the line you just drew by 4. So for this example, since my line was 8 inches long, we end up with 2 inches. And then measure up that distance from the bottom of your line and mark it. The width of the template can be about half or a little more of the distance of your original line. For this example, I chose 5 inches. Center that measurement where your two lines cross and mark. To complete the diamond, just connect the endpoints of your lines. Your tab should be about half an inch to three quarters of an inch wide. Measure out from one of the short lines of your diamond and then mark a line parallel to that same line. To finish your tab, extend your upper line from your diamond down, and then from the bottom point of the diamond, mark a line at about 25 to 30 degree angle. Cut that shape out of paper, cardboard, or another scrap piece of metal, and you're ready to go. Next, get your metal and template and trace out your pattern five times. With your patterns on your metal, use whatever tools you have, aviation shears, foot shears, or even a notch will work until you've cut out all your parts. Next, you'll need to mark the lines you'll be using to bend your parts into the point of a star. Use a straight edge and mark a line from the top point to the bottom point of your pattern. For your tab, measure in from the bottom left side. And then mark a line through that point to the bottom point of your pattern. Go to your break and start bending along your middle line until it looks roughly right. That's going to be somewhere between a 50 and 75 degree angle. It should look something like this when you're done. And then just repeat for all your other parts. The tab needs to bend in the opposite direction of what we just did. To do that, lock it in a vise on the line and bend it by hand somewhere between a 45 and 60 degree angle. And just like before, repeat for the rest of your parts. Each point of your star just fits behind the other on top of the tabs. Spot welding these together can be a little bit more art than science, so as you go, you may have to slightly bend them in place with your hands. Make sure the middle points of the parts line up, and then add two or three spot welds to hold them together. Repeat this process two more times until you have four points of your star together. Putting the last part in place can be tricky. If everything aligns perfectly, it should just slide in like this where the tab slides in behind the other and rotates in place. The last part doesn't fit into place like I just showed, 
you're just gonna have to use your hands to bend it into place. Once you have that part fitting, add your last spot welds. And with that, your star should look something like this. And if you're looking for more shop class style projects, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one.